Hello, hello guys. How are we doing? And welcome back to the channel. Call of Duty have added five new guns into multiplayer ranked play, including the BP-50, Holger 5.56, the MTZ, the Ram 9, and the HRM. That is three assault rifles and two SMGs you're going to be able to get your hands on and try for the first time in ranked play this year. We're going to be kicking it off with the BP-50 today. Again, if I'm going to whiz through these for time, you guys are one are going to get through this as quickly as possible. So feel free to screenshot them if I... You know, if you want, if I'm going too quickly, feel free to screenshot or pause the video. But the BP-50 has the long, heavy barrel here for its gun kit control, bullet velocity and range, recoil control and fire and aim stability. We then have the Zem-35 compensated flash hide and muzzle, again, for that stability, horizontal recoil control and uh, fire and aim stability. We then have the DR-6 ham stop, which is basically to keep it a bit more mobile. It's a little bit more better movement, quick radius speed and faster strafe speeds. And then we have the TRST-4 grip tape, which again is just for the recoil. This is a massive attachment you're going to want to have on this gun to be able to be versatile at all ranges. And then finally, you have the Moat 40 stock, again, for that little bit of gun control, but it also has the plus side of ADS speed, aim walking speed, and recoil control. So it's a little bit of an all-around attachment that you're going to want to use on this gun. This gun's perfect at medium to long range. It does keep its, you know, it is unbelievable at close range as well. I honestly won't be surprised if there's four of these on each team because it is that much of a versatile gun. It does fall off a little bit at longer ranges, which is where we're going to have the 5.56 Holger. So, on the Holger, you're going to want the Curious 6 match barrel, again for that bullet velocity, recoil, and gun kit control. The Zen 35 compensated barrel uh, muzzle, sorry, for the exact same reason you'd had it on the other gun. It's vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and aiming, uh, fire and aim stability is just top notch with that muzzle. You then have the DR6 hand stop to add that little bit of mobility. You've got the movement speed, sprint to fire speed, ADS, uh, which is straight speed, and then a actual general ADS uh, speed so you can aim in at your opponents a lot quicker. Then we have the Adel stock, the RB Adel assault stock, which is what we used to use on the MCW as it's meta class, but now we're using it on the uh, the Holger here. It again just makes it not, you know, it shoots completely straight with this attachment. It's really nice. And then you have the optic of your choice, whether it be the slate reflector or the Mark III reflector. Completely up to you what you want to use here, but this gun is a beamer. i mostly seen this being used for the stiff AR role where you're really rotating early, sitting back at the spawns, or you're holding those long lines of sight on s &D. It is slow. It's not very maneuverable compared to the BP-50 or even the MCW, but it does absolutely dominate at those longer ranges. We then move into the MTZ-556, which is a little bit of a closer range sub. This is your proper true flex sub where it's going to be really good at medium to close range. Um, but we're going to have the MTZ Clinch Pro Barrel for that bullet velocity, damage range, aid life sway, and fire and aim stability. This just makes sure the bullets go where you want them to, especially at those longer ranges. Then have the Cases Break uh, Muzzle, which again is just to help the recoil control out a little bit, making sure you hit your shots. The Bruin 24 Assault Grip, which is for the gun kick control and fire and aim stability. And then the MTZ Marauder Stock for, again, gun kick control and recoil control. So you can see this setup is purely built for recoil. It still ADSs really quickly at 235 milliseconds so it's really versatile and then you have the mark 3 reflector optic just to finish it off which as i say you can use whatever optic of your choice you like but this is my personal favorite as it stands right now but ultimately we have the ram 9 which is probably going to be the sub that is used in this uh in this sort of gameplay here um well in the new season sorry or after this update shall we say uh, on this, we're going to have the L4R flash rider for its recoil control and gun kick ability. You do have a negative ADS, but that is factored out by the other attachments on the gun. First off, it being the DR6 hand stop. Again, you've got the ADS benefit, you've got the strafe speed benefit, as well as the front spire feed and the general movement speed with this gun. Absolutely dominant. Feel free to check it out. Um, you then have the rear grip of the Retort 90 grip tape, which again is purely for the fact you want to control that recoil whilst you're shooting you get a little bit of stability here as well. So this is just going to make sure your bullets are hitting exactly where you want them to. You then have the recon comb, which again, adds that little bit more mobility. You can sprint to fire far quicker. Fire and aim stability is a lot quicker and your ADS speed is a lot quicker with this as well. Bringing the ADS speed to about 240 milliseconds, only slightly quicker the MTZ, which is a bit baffling. We then have the HSV, HVS sorry, 3.5 pad, which is only there to help you shoot your gun straighter. It's got gun kick control, recoil control, aim idle sway and fire and aim stability as well. There is the Ram 9. This is probably going to be the majority. Like, this is going to be the sub that's used most over the rival. Um, the other sub, HRM, doesn't quite stack up to this, but this gun is an absolute beam. Next, we have the HRM here, which is a... Personally, I don't think this is going to be used at all. You have the uh, Princeps Long Barrel, which is, adds that real good bullet velocity and range, so, it, so you can really shoot at long distances. It's a real nice attachment on the gun. The Purifier Muzzle Brake just to help with that horizontal recoil. 
Bruin Bastion Angle Grip to assist more with the recoil control. Uh, the Swark in Steadiness, the Fire Nose Stability, Aim and Older Sway Stability. Although it doesn't say anything to do with recoil there, your bullets go a lot more centered to the center of your screen because of these Idle Sway Stability and Steadiness attributes this, this attachment has. Then have the PCS 90 Assault Grip, which is increasingly more to help the gun kit control you're going to know this gun absolutely is a nightmare to hold uh, to, to control so you need all the attachments to help you gun quick that you can get and then finally you have the hatchet light stock which you know it has a little bit of negative gun control or uh, recoil control here however the ads speed the aim walking speed and movement speed just you know negates some of the cons of the other attachments you have which keeps this relatively mobile as i say this is definitely the weakest sub of the two the ram 9 is far superior but this is still worth checking out and trying for the fun of it um, so yeah, that's going to do it. Hope you enjoy. Hope you have fun with the new guns. And if you have any alternative attachments to these that I've shown, feel free to drop it down in the comments to help the community out. I will also be trying it out as well. So yeah, enjoy the new guns. Ciao for now.